What's up guys? Welcome back to Skip's Guns. So before I get started, I want to say I hope everybody had an awesome holiday. Thanksgiving is definitely one of the coolest holidays out there. You definitely get to eat to the point of almost exploding and uh, you get to spend your time with your family. So it doesn't get much better than that. All right, before we get started, as always, I want to say a huge thank you to Patreon supporters. Uh, you guys for liking, subscribing, sharing, all of that good stuff. And then anyone that supports me and my family by getting work done by my company, SGZ. SGZ is based off of this YouTube channel where you guys can actually get some ideas from all the stuff that you see here. And then you can get stuff like that done from us. So a uh, huge thank you to anyone and everyone that has ever gotten anything done. Also, shirts, if you guys are interested. Uh, down in the description, you are going to find an email. The email will basically point you in the right direction on how to get some shirts and how to get everything else done. So, what do we have for you guys today? I thought it would be kind of cool since one of my projects that I've been working on is actually pretty much finished to do a little uh, competition. Now, you guys know I like to not just show one gun at a time. I like to kind of do a versus with everything. And one of the guns we are going to be looking at is the Staccato XC. So this is definitely one of the uh, most popular five inch guns that is, I mean, pretty much the, the top tier of what you can get from not only Staccato, but most of the other companies as well. It is a 5-inch full dust-covered compensated setup. Mine has a little bit of different parts. We do have a aluminum grip on here. I'm going to be swapping to something else, a little bit more my taste. We have Atlas shielded thumb safeties, an extreme ignition kit, and uh, a Chili Magwell, and a direct-mounted Delta Point Pro, and a Surefire. And I mean, honestly, this thing just, it rocks. It's a, in, in my collection, it's kind of underrated. I don't use it as much as I should because it really is a badass gun. But the reason why I have this out is because the other two guns are pretty much up to the level that I wanted them to be. The first is going to be my Atlas Nemesis. Now, this thing is honestly... I didn't know I was going to be doing the stuff that I did to this gun when I initially bought it. So when I first got it, obviously you can see there's no rail on here. It has the older style Phoenix Trinity grip. Uh, what I did was I put a TTI Magwell on here, TTI base plates. I kind of went for like that 1989 Batman theme with the black and gold, threw on the Atlas short shoot trigger. And then I put the normal 45 degree thumb safeties on, cut it for the Atlas plate, and then got rid of the irons. It was actually an iron sight only gun, but nobody shoots irons anymore. So I figured let's just make it an optics only gun. And then I took their sight block and I cut the plague into it. And then I retuned it, threw on a gas pedal, and... Honestly, I don't know what the hell happened, but this thing turned into a black pit viper or a black sand viper and it shoots just as accurate, just as flat. It, it's probably it's probably better, I guess, than a sand viper because one you get atlas quality and two it's just badass. I mean, it almost even looks like the sand viper. I, I don't know. We're going to be doing a lot deeper dive into this gun, but this is part of the competition. And then that's going to bring us to our final contestant. And that is going to be my absolutely out of my mind setup. I don't know what the hell made me do this, but this is a Nighthawk TRS comp. And you guys might be saying, I mean, those serrations look like nothing I've ever seen before on a Nighthawk. And that's because they don't, they don't have this whatsoever. So 
For some reason, this gun was a lot cheaper than it usually is by a pretty substantial amount. I don't know if it was like a blem or something like that, but I picked it up and I did some step serrations into it and then threw on a TTI Magwell gas pedal Atlas thumb safeties and uh, I actually then threw on a Phoenix Trinity smaller shoe. So this is something that would come on their hero grip, but I don't like the long shoe that uh, they usually come with. I like something more like this and I might even go with a super short one from Atlas, but uh, I really just wanted this thing to be different. So I definitely like these guns. The one I shot before I would say is a very well-tuned, perfectly built setup. But like I said, mine might have been a blem or something because I had some daikon on the barrel. I had a couple of very light little scratches here and there. I mean, you couldn't even notice them. I didn't notice them for like a week. Uh, but so what we did was we cut these step serrations in and I wanted it to actually blend in with the comp. So that's exactly what we did. And as you see, they link up and look absolutely sick when they are said and done. And then we went and DLC'd it. So originally this had a polished silver barrel. We DLC'd that. We DLC'd the comp and the slide all to match again. And uh, it, it is pretty close. I'll wipe it just so that you guys can see overall. There is a slight difference in the DLC coatings here. So this one is just a touch more matte colored than this one, or I guess a little a little more reflective, if I'm being honest. Uh, it still looks great. There's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. I think what I should have done was maybe take the whole gun down and then polish the highs and leave the low spots matte colored, and then obviously polish the barrel and kind of just give it that little bit more of an effect but i mean no complaints here this thing is badass and it shoots just as good as it looks so the reason why i have all these three together is because like i said they are all five inch guns with built-in compensators they all shoot relatively the same um one difference I did forget to mention with this was we did actually cut this. This is the staccato plate and then a 509 up here. And then I actually used a Prodigy front sight because that co-witnesses perfectly with the whole setup. But um, back to why I was picking these three. They just are like kind of the top tiers from each one of their respected companies. So with the staccatos, you definitely are going to pay for this XC. It is, you know, 4,300 bucks. And then the way I have it sitting, you're probably somewhere else around like 5,500. But um, with these minor little modifications to it, even if you left the polymer grip and you just redid the ignition kit, this thing is like absolutely lights out. It's such a clean and crisp setup. Listen to the trigger. So you have minimal take up and then a very light sounding hammer, reset, short, tactile. It's one thing that I do want to bring to you guys' attention when you go with these extreme kits. You're going to get a really light trigger. This still pulls at two and a half pounds, but uh, the hammers are definitely really, really light. So for you guys, I just want you to definitely pay attention to that. You're going to get an awesome ignition, but you might have to put a little more spring into the mainspring housing just to give you a definite that it's going to pop the primer. Um, moving on to the next one. I mean, we all know Atlas is top dog of them all, especially in my book. But uh, the Nemesis, this is the old V1 Nemesis. Like I said, it doesn't have the tack rail and it doesn't have the alpha grip. Uh, I will really, really, I'm going to push as hard as I possibly can to eventually get one that is the V2. And I might go crazy and plague that one too, because this thing, you can see it just shoots flat as all get out. And I mean, the, the polished highs on this gun, it's, 
It's just a beautiful gun. I ended up coming across this thing on Gun Broker and I fell in love with it. I thought it was going to be a perfect setup where I could just kind of have fun with it. I, I did a customer's nemesis with the Plague and that was a 40 and that gun shot awesome. I did it to this one and... I was I was impressed with the way it was shooting, but I was like, uh, it still is a little bit flippy because as you guys know, and I've said before, Atlas doesn't care about shooting flat like this. They care about the return to zero. So when it goes like that and comes back, as long as it doesn't go down and then back up, they just boom right back onto target. That's what they're worried about. That way it doesn't matter about your grip. They are... Build, they build these guns and they tune these guns around different grip textures and hand sizes and everything. And uh, this is definitely set up now for a very light grip texture because it just tracks. I mean, it is a very, very nice setup. I highly recommend if you guys have a Nemesis and, you know, you don't have it in a glass case and you'll allow me to do it. The Plague and a little bit more of a tune absolutely turns these things into just insanely flat guns i uh i really 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 like this gun a lot and then this nighthawk is just i mean it doesn't get much better than this i know the sand hawk is a really popular way of going about doing these trs comps but honestly this step serration is out of this world the fact that they're rear serrations still match their grip i think that's just so well done and then even the atlas setup does match for the most part but i think it just kind of came together really really nicely and then overall putting atlas thumb safeties on 2011s in general just pushes it to the next level we are going to have a dedicated video of this and honestly i can't wait because it is a bad ass gun and uh I mean, they're all badass guns. When I redo the XC, you're definitely going to see a, a full video of this. I've done one before, but now that it's going to be kind of revamped, we're going to come back to it. And if you guys are interested in any kind of other uh, comparison videos, if you want to see one of these against something else, I was kind of thinking that the video you guys said you really want to see was my Viper that's what I'm calling it now because it's not a pit viper, it's not a sand viper, it is just a viper. I think that this against the viper, that would be a pretty sick video. You guys comment down below, let me know what you think. But uh, until then, hope you guys have an awesome week. Remember, stay safe, believe and achieve, and we'll check you later.